Our coverage continues now with a look at conditions outside. Five News reporter Zoe Henry is live in Rogers, and Zoe's been keeping an eye on roads during this evening drive. It's been a messy, tough drive for people tonight. Zoe? Erica, I'm out here on I-49, right across from the Rogers Convention Center, looking over the I-49 highway. Now, there's been a couple flood um, reports on this highway. Further down the road on exit 88, there was a flood earlier that caused three cars to hydroplane, but since then it's been cleared up and traffic's been moving pretty well. Now, in Washington County, there is a flood warning until 845 this evening. Fayetteville Fire responded to several weather-related emergencies today. Now, one of those was on the Fatrell Road. There, a car tried to run through a running stream of water and failed. It was swept away. Um, the person who was inside that car was rescued. No injuries were reported, but the car was left behind. And in Farmington, there was a fire, a house fire. Now there, there was no one injured. Everyone was safely able to exit the house. And firefighters say that this is weather related. Emergency management is saying to proceed with caution, especially with the darkness out here now and the wet roads. Drive slower than usual and proceed with caution. I'm live in Rogers, covering news where you live. Zoe Henry, 5 News. All right, Zoe, thanks. As this flash flooding threat continues into tomorrow morning, you can get updates about any warnings issued where you live and view the latest weather radar by downloading our free 5 News smartphone app.